Good day and welcome back to Global Derivatives TV. I'm here with Tom Heyer from BTG Pactual. Tom, nice to meet you and thank Thanks. you for being here at the conference. Uh, if you just want to start and give us a little bit about your background and what you do at BTG. So most of my career I've been a sell side quant. Mm -hmm. um, I worked my way up at UBS and ran the analytics group there for a couple of years. And then I left last year to work on the asset management side. Mm -hmm. So at BTG Pactual we're launching a systematic macro trading fund that we hope will start attracting new investment. Okay. Very exciting. And uh, some of the questions I had were related to mathematical modeling. That's how, absolutely fine. How it's changed from pre-financial crisis until now, if you can explain how, mm -hmm. how some of those things have developed. Yes. So before the crisis, there was a great emphasis on building the tallest stack of assumptions on a very simple base. And the base, a single yield curve with a funding spread that's um, so non-volatile you can assume it's deterministic. Mm. Um, those assumptions turned out to be too optimistic. So what we're seeing is the project to rebuild and widen the foundation well, without, hopefully, without tearing the superstructure all the way down. Mm. Um, the, the most important things that people are working on are the interaction between credit and discounting and um, how, to, how to build a sustainable framework in the absence of the risk-free rate. That work is going to have to be extended still further because the whole concept of collateral as sovereigns are now less reliable than they used to be is not, it doesn't provide the sure footing that we're used to assuming we have. Mm, okay. And so going forward, uh, maybe even further, you know, 10 years, what is the picture you see in, in the algo mathematical modeling world? I suppose what will, what will have to happen is that CVA and DVA will become more integrated. My personal expectation is this will lead to a dominance of Monte Carlo methods for pricing all but the most standardized products, but it's fair to note that I've been predicting that for 15 years. Mm. Um, the, the emphasis will be on coherency of pricing because I need to be certain that, for example, the model I'm pricing a credit derivative with is sufficiently similar to the model that I'm pricing the credit worthiness of the counterparty mm -hmm. um, with, that the two can be used together appropriately. So every credit trade is actually a multi-credit trade. Every rates trade is an exotic rates and multi-credit trade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, that, that breadth of modeling, the ability to um, systematically and consistently include many underlyings is going to be the biggest challenge that people work on. Okay. And it sounds like in terms of uh, technology infrastructure, if I can ask you about this, you know, what, yeah. what, what kind of infrastructure do you need for, for all of these different uh, variables okay. and, and modeling? I, lo I love technology. Mm. So um, the, the first thing that people need is um, more, more flexibility to specify computations and the idea, that, the idea that a derivative system can be written in a certain way and then it will just run these computations every day forever and spit out the results, that idea has caused a lot of pain to a lot of people. They're trying to backtrack from that restriction. So the the technological world of the future is one where there's less focus on a system that does something and more focus on an enabling framework, a um, data fabric is the best term I've heard for it, that makes sure that the data you need are available in a shared format, and a computational framework that makes sure you can marshal the computing power to um, get the tasks you need done, done in time. Mm -hmm. um, what's going to be the next game changer in technology is that people are going to figure out 
how to use increased bandwidth to a much greater extent than they have before. Um, computational finance is CPU heavy and bandwidth light at the moment. And this is partly because of past necessity. But as the technological restraints change, the way we work can change as well. Okay. Very good. Well, those were all the questions I have for you. Is there anything that I haven't asked that, that I should or that you'd like to add? Not really. I okay. think we've talked about the, the interesting things and the most, the most valuable information I have to give. So okay, that's very good. Fine. All right, then. Thank you for being here. And that's All it right. for us. Stay tuned for more interviews here at Global Derivatives TV. Thank you.